Michael, before we get into the latest update, let's synopsize your news for Oshkosh. You brought uh, a number of projects to the show this year and certainly have started to gather uh, some of the requisite attention necessary to see these projects through. Well, our, our most important project here is the uh, recent announcement of the Jumpstart Inn initiative. Uh, this follows on the heel of the Jumpstart GA program that we're offering to aircraft owners and operators to help them get ADSB onto their aircraft as quickly and as inexpensively as possible. With the Jumpstart Inn program, the announcement was made this week, this is a program that accelerates the availability of financing for small aircraft owners. We're very excited about it because we can offer aircraft owners payment plans for their installations as low as $250 per month. No deposit, no requirement to take your airplane and make it a security interest. These are unsecured loans made on the good faith of repayment by the aircraft owners, basically. Okay, so what's new? What's been happening in the last, uh, last few days? In the last few days, we've had uh, record interest in this program. Uh, it's astonishing to us. It appears to us that this is the time where aircraft owners are in the mood to get going with their mandated equipage, and they're all looking for ways to pay for it, ways to finance it. So in other words, they understand the FAA is serious about 2020? I think that was made abundantly clear with Administrator Huerta's speech earlier this week. It's the same message that's been conveyed by the FAA now for a couple of years. The associations have not been successful in having the FAA take any pressure off the accelerator. And now it's really up to the associations to advise their members to get going with equipage. Now we've put in place a financing plan that it will be appealing to as many as 100,000 aircraft owners. And there are about 150,000 aircraft still that have to be upgraded. There are going to be shortages of installation um, uh, capability. And our advice to everybody is, is, is make your decisions, uh, commit to equipage, and get scheduled. Get scheduled with the repair station so that they can get you done sometime between now and uh, the end of this decade. Triggs TT22 Transponder is the perfect ADS-B out solution for small spaces. It's lightweight, highly compact, and 2020 compliant. Make the most of your panel space by contacting your approved Trig dealer today. www.trigavionics.com Stratus 2S is the ultimate iPad upgrade. This simple-to-use pocket-sized receiver delivers subscription-free weather, ADS-B traffic, WASP GPS, and backup attitude. And everything is beautifully displayed in 4Flight Mobile. For more information, visit sporties.com slash Stratus. So what's the status now of the original program announced last year, the one that's, I know, waiting on various approvals? At this point, do we have some hope that uh, some folks are going to get off the dime and you're going to be able to run the full uh, range of programs that you had envisioned? When I mentioned earlier about the need for about 100,000 aircraft owners to have financing available, many of those owners, about 30,000 of them, have larger aircraft that will require an investment of anywhere from 50,000 to 250 or $300,000. The Jumpstart program is not for them. What's for them is the GA Fund's original program and concept. So as an update to that, we are back in, this is our third year of basically pushing back on FAA who are resisting support of this program and encouraging members of Congress to push through definitive legislation that will get the GA fund properly stood up with these federal loan guarantees. This is a no-risk program to uh, the federal government. The FAA knows that. They need to stop dragging their feet on this and, and to get behind it. We were very disappointed when the FAA neglected to include this program in their FY16 budget. That's just another indication that the FAA just does not get it. Without this financing program, they're going to have a real mess on their hands come 2020. Yeah, at the same time, one of the things I wanted to point out, we're starting, you know, we've seen a couple of offers that have come from several manufacturers now about getting ADSB entry-level participation down to a dull roar cost-wise, but it was the initial agreements that you made in this phenomenal buy with L3 and some of the following projects that created the downward pressure. The first, I mean, when did we ever see anything in aviation get cheaper? I think NextGen has to take a bit of a bow for this and, and frankly, 
you know, while we tend to be, you know, the most critical folks around, it's hard to be critical of a program that's already achieved one major success uh, among others uh, in that you've got the price down to two grand or less. It's been a very interesting effort and in accomplishing this price drop, we did take a risk because we placed a substantial order for 10,000 units and that's the biggest buy outside the military for anything. And we did that all commercially. We did it with our own capital and it's turned out to move the AOPA off of its position. AOPA had to move away from the don't buy anything, don't do anything position with the Jumpstart, the original Jumpstart program. Now, with Jumpstart in, uh, we're doing what AOPA should have done itself. AOPA should be recommending to its members that they equip with the safest, uh, most cost-effective avionics ever available, and that's ADSB in. Gives you traffic, gives you weather, gives you phenomenal situational awareness, and it, I think it's really just taken our Jumpstart uh, in program to uh, to nudge the industry in that direction. When the forecast is wrong, ForeFlight and Stratus give you the tools you need to take action when the weather takes an unexpected turn. ForeFlight, the app pilots depend on. An interactive links application is available in the Apple and Android app stores. This free app is a virtual simulation of the Lynx NGT9000 touchscreen cockpit display that lets pilots interact with the unit as if they had a real system in their hands. The app covers the entire Lynx family of ADSB products, including features and options to help customers decide which Lynx model is right for their needs. What does the person confronted by the uh, import of uh, 2020 really need to know right now about preparing their aircraft and working with you to be able to afford the changes that are coming. One thing that I think is a, an important point to pay attention to is that the repair stations themselves have to do this work. We need certified mechanics to complete these installations and sign off on these installations. We're hearing that a number of repair stations have booked slots for upgrades beyond two years from now. So this is, I think, going to be one of the defining moments for the repair station industry. And they're all going to be very busy. So if you're an airplane owner, you ought to be making your decision and selecting your equipment as soon as you can and make sure that you've got a calendar date with the repair station that uh, you want to do business with. Talk to that repair station. Make sure that they're ready, willing, and able to do an installation on a certain given date. And I just hope people will find that they can get their aircraft upgraded before the deadline because the rush has started now. Michael Diamond from the Next Gen GA Fund, thank you for joining us on Aero TV.